Hello. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah. Assalamualaikum brother. I couldn't hear you. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad wa ajil farajuhan. Now, what we need to do is that today I'm going to start revision of book. Um, or well, not revision as such. Just revision of past, <laughs> present, and amr. And then once I've done that. Then I will start the actual next phase itself. Um, now, the re because I need to teach uh, how to make Amr imperative, and also then I need to move on to uh, the four letter verbs and the five letter verbs. I can only do that because in the Arabic language, you have a minimum three letters, and then we build upon it itself. Uh, Brother Manzoor, Lalji, Asalaamu As Alaikum. Uh, wa Alaikum Asalaam. Can you go for the past tense verb kataba? Uh, it's on the screen. Kataba kutiba. Past tense. <coughs> kataba. He wrote. Kataba uh, is the past tense. You mean? Correct. You want me to read the whole line? Yes, please. Uh, kataba. Kataba. Katabua. Katabu. Katabu. Katab. Katabat. Katabat. Katabta. No, Katabata. Katabata. Katabta. Katabna. Katabna, correct. Katabta. Katabuma, Katabtuma, Katabtum, Katabti, Katabtuma, Katabtuna, Katabtu, Katabna. I want you to do now for me on the same pattern the verb um, Jalasa. Uh, Jalasa, I mean he sat. Uh, jalasa, uh, Jalas. Jalasa. Jalasa, Jalasa, uh, Jalasu, Jalastu. No, Jalasat. Jalasat, uh, Jalasta. Jalasata. Jalasata, Jalasna, Jalasta, Jalastuma, Jalastum, Jalasti, Jalastuma, Katapunna, Jalastuna, Jalastu. Uh, jalasna. How do you say I wrote? Uh, jalas, uh, uh, I wrote uh, Kataptu. How do you say we wrote? Uh, katabna. He wrote? He katab, kataba. Excellent. And she wrote? Katabi. Katabat. Katabat. Ahsan, Jazakallah. Sister Sabira, can you come on the mic, please? Yes, Sheikh. How are you? Not too bad. Right, so Sabira, can you go for me the past tense um, of the next verb, which is going to be varaba, which means he hit. Let me check. What was the word? Varaba. Varaba. Yeah, varaba. Varaba. Okay. 
Varaba, Varaba, Varabu. No, Zarabu. Zar, it's a Zad. Zaraba, 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 Zarabu. Sorry, Sheikh says Zaraba. Correct. Okay. Zaraba, Zarabu, Zarabat, Zarabta. No, Zarabat. Zarabat, Zarabna, Zarabta, Zarabtuma, Zarabtum, Zarabti, Zarabtuma, Zarabtu. Zarabtunna, Zarabtu, Zarabna. How do you say I hit? I, that's Zarabtu. We hit. That's uh, Zarabna. He hit. He, Zarabta, Zarabta. Zaraba. Zaraba. <laughs> she hit. Zaraba. They two females hit. Zarab, Zarabti. No, the two females, Zarabata. Zarabata, okay. Zarabata. Uh, female. They both, yeah, that's females. And they all females hit? They all females, Zarabtum. No, they, third person. It's got they there as well. Hunna. Uh, okay, Zarabtunna, yeah. No, this one here. Where's the hand? They all females. Oh, there. Okay. Yeah. Zarabtunna. Zarabnu. Zarabna. No, Zarabna. Sorry. Zarabna. That means they all females hit. How do you say you all boys hit? You all boys. That's Zarab, Zarabta. You all. Plural, please. You all. Zarabtum. Excellent. You all females hit. Plural. Zarabtunna. You one female hit. Zarabti. You one boy hit. Zarabta. Excellent. Finally, they all, they all, plural, boys hit. They all boys. So that's Zarabtu. They, they. Zarabu. 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 Yeah. Okay. It's good I'm doing this revision. I can see that everyone is a Polish. We need Zaka, Polish. sister. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sister Shireen, Sister Shireen Ghulam Hussain. Sister Shireen, Asalaamu Alaikum. Asalaamu Alaikum, can you come on the mic? Can you hear me? Okay, she can't hear me. Um, Sohab, Sohab, can you hear me? No. Asalaamu Alaikum. Asalaamu Alaikum, Salaam. I just um, joined. This have is my. Done, it's your first class. Yes. Right. Have you done any Arabic before? No. Right. This is going to be a bit okay. Uh, listen in to me. Message me after class, and then I will have to send you the recordings of the last fifteen classes which we have done, so that you can catch up. Okay. I'll I'll talk to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Not no problem. Not, no. Thank uh, you. Can I request that too, please? Who's that? Shahida Zadi? Shahida Zadi, yes, please. Shahida Zadi, you to, you're good. I want to go over. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll send you the recordings. Um, Thank you very uh, much. Sister so Sohab, are you from America yes. or are you from um, uh, Africa? America. America. Okay, that's good. Sister Shahida Zadi, I've got this. Uh, I think, Sister Sohab, are you from Michigan? No, okay. California. California, okay, that's fine. So message me afterwards and I'll join you with Sister Shahida Zadi. Uh, and then, inshallah, you can revise together. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem at all. Um, Sister Fozia, can you come forward? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum Sister Fozia. This is Sister Fozia. Now, I want to move on. Now, I'm going to ask the Arabic and you're going to tell me the English. If I say, okay, let's conjugate first Fataha. All the 14 forms, please. Fataha. Fataha, Fataha, Fatahu, Fatahata. Fatahata, Fatahna, Fatahta, Fatahtuma, Fatahtum, Fatahti, Fatahtuma, Fatahtunna, Fatahtu, Fatahna. Uh, okay, what does Fatahtu mean? Fatahtu, Ana, 
uh, I, I open. How do you say fatahna? What does that mean? We opened. <clears throat> Fataha. He opened. Fatahat. She opened. Fatahna. Uh, two female open. Fatahta. Two female, uh, sorry. No, one, one. Fatahna. One Anta. female. And the she yeah. You open muscular. You open muscular, yes. Anti fatahti. She opened. Antunna fatahtunna. You all open. Excellent. MashaAllah, that was good. That was really good. Thank you. All right. The next person, Ali Nakhavi. Alaikum. Alaikum. How are you now? I'm much better. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. Brilliant. Right, I want you to now. Can you now this word, this verb here, next one, Alima? Now you will see here that the middle letter now this it has a kasra, so the past tense has three forms it has all fata, like daraba, kataba. The next one is Alima, and the next one after that is the middle letter having a dhamma. So the past tense has three forms. Now we're moving on to Alima. Um, can you conjugate the 14 forms for me for Alima? Uh, alima, uh, uh, alima, uh, alimu, alimat, alimata, alimna, uh, alimta, alimtuma, uh, alimtum, alimti, alimtuma, uh, alim tunna, alimtu, uh, alimna. How do you say I knew? Uh, alimtu. We knew. Alim na. He knew. Alima. He she knew. Uh, al, uh, alimat. They all females knew. Uh, alimna. You one boy knew. Alimta. Alimti. What does that mean? Uh, you one female knew. Alimtum. Uh, Alim Tum, uh, you all boys knew. Alim Tunna, Alim Tunna, you all females knew. Excellent, brilliant. Um, next person I will ask will be, um, she's a Shahid Azadi. Okay, brother, Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum, Allah. He was traveling. Where was he going from last lesson? He was going from Canada to America. Where was you going last night? Oh, I was on the way to Canada. I just came back last night. Okay. Yeah, because I know you were traveling. But... Yes, you, you remember this. So nice. Okay, now the next verb I'm going to give you is on the same pattern of this. Uh, which we shall give you now. The verb in the there's a verb which we use in namas in before we go to sujood. We say sami Allahu, sami right. Allahu, sami Allahu means Allah hears or Allah. Right. Now, here uh, normally uh, samiya means to hear, but here means Allah answers. So, here samiya comes in the meaning of answer. Now, mm -hmm. seen mim ain samiya. Mm -hmm. Yes. I want you to practice all of the 14 forms of Sami'a. Sami'a, okay. he knew. Sami sorry, he heard. Sami'a, they, okay, so, let me do so something with you. One second, okay. just one second, sister. I mm -hmm. want to do something because I've seen there's a mistake with um, some of the brothers. You're making a, 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 a mistake, which I think is due to not understanding some basic ruling. So give me one second. I just want to bring something on the screen. So I think the problem is this. this. So um, I've done this before, but it seems as if people forget. Now I'm going to go through this, and you're you're going to be the first. But now, all verb all verbs in Arabic language, they have a suffix. Suffix is a particle or a letter which is added at the end of the verb so dhahaba is the three letter verb 
and every there's 14 forms for the past tense and there are suffixes which add, add to the verb and they represent who is performing the action itself oh like these hua hunna those things yeah so hua huma hum hia hua is he huma is they both okay hum is they all hia is she Homa is they both. Hunna is they all females. Now, in the Arabic language, mm -hmm. each form has three forms. You have he, and no. in English language, uh, we don't have dual. We have either singular or plural. We don't have dual. So, huwa, they both, they all. So, they, it says here, they two men, they more than two men. She went, they two went, they more than two women went. You went, you two men went, you all went. So, huwa, huma, hum. Hiya, huma, hunna, they are the detached pronouns, which means he, they both, they all. She, they both, they all. So they come individually in a text like huwa talibun. In book one, we did huwa talibun. He is a student. Hiya talibatun. She is a female student. So these pronouns, huwa, huma, hum, they come independently, individually, and they represent individuals who is being spoken about in the text. But with regards to the verb, <laughs> these huwa huma hum, they get substituted by letters, which are pronouns, which attach to the verb and demonstrate who is performing the action. Now in huwa, the haba, there is no suffix. So in this one, the fa'il is hidden. The fa'il, so in, in Arabic language, sometimes you have the duras or the verb, which is hidden. Now in the haba, there is no suffix. Therefore, the doer of the verb is hidden. In the haba, what do you see extra, sister? Uh, alif. Alif, alif, alif. Exactly. So the alif, alif has been added. This is called aliful mufanna. Al oh, okay. So when it says al fa, J? Okay. Making it two. Exactly. And the habu, alif and the wa with, the, with, the, with a um, sukun. And okay. the previous letter will have a dhamma. Zahabu, this is called Wow al Jama'ad, Wow, which demonstrates plural. Okay, okay. It does, does it help now? Yes, yes, making it plural. Yeah, is this helping everyone else? Is this helping everyone else? Yes, sir. Yes, Molana. Yes, thank you. Yes. Uh, yes, sorry. it is helping. Okay, that's brilliant. And then in Zahabat, this star which has mm -hmm. been added, is the sign of feminine. So, dhahaba and dhahabat, this is called ta'u ta'ni. But, so this is a sign of feminine, but it's not a sign, it's not a pronoun, it's just a sign of feminine itself. So, again, here, the the doer, the pronoun is hidden in dhahabat. Then we go to dhahabata, the ta is the sign of feminine. Alif is the sign of? Making sister. it two. Exactly, jul, uthanna. And in, remember this point, in the habna. In the habna, whenever you have a three-letter verb, four or five-letter verb, the suffix noon with a fata is called noonun niswa, noon for niswa. feminine plural. And the letter before the noon with a fata is always with a? Sukun is always with a sukun. The hub na. Now then, anta antum antum. You 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 one. You two. You all. You one female. You two females. You all females. So the suffixes which are added from the second person. So this is the third person. Ghaib. He and she is called ghaib. Third person. You one female. You two females. It's called the second person because in a conversation, I am the speaker, you are the listener. So if, for example, if I'm speaking to Sister um, Shahida Zadi, she is Mukhatab. She's the person who I'm being addressed. And for example, Brother Hassan, uh, Hassan, Sayyid, Hassan Sayyid from Mumbai, he is the third person listening to our conversation. So he's called the third person. Now, from the sixth form onwards, the ba will remain with a sukun. Then we just add ta, the suffixes, ta, tuma, tum, ti, 
So these are the suffixes which represent who is performing the action. In particular, Brother Manzoor, is this clear for you? Because when he was doing that, I realized that you were struggling with this problem. Uh, when you when you explain, I understand, but then it is difficult to remember. And when you speak, well, I need uh, you to do, Brother Manzoor, as well. I need you to write the verbs out in the past tense, and once you write and the translation next to it. You will memorize it better, and you will learn it better. Um, if, if, if because when we do, when we lack, and we start, stop, not, or not do the homework, it, it takes a, a toll in your learning itself. So that's the reason why I encourage do the actual exercises itself. Right, Sister uh, Shahida Zaidi, Bismillah. Go through them now. We are doing Samia. Samia. Okay. So you could use Huwa Samia, Huma Samia. Hum sami o. So we, we have to use all these suffix also. Yes. That yes. If we don't use the suffixes, we won't change the verb. The verb remains the same. Okay. Huma sami a. Huma sami a. Hum sami o. Excellent. Hiya sami at. Huma sami ta. Sameata. Sameata. Hunna. Sameatuna. Sametna. Hunna. Sametna. Hunna. Sametna. Okay, sorry. Hunna. Sametna. Then Anta. Sametta. Antuma. Sametuma. Anta sameta is you feminine. Mm -hmm. Masculine. Anta sameta, you masculine. Okay. Male. Antuma sametuma, two of you male. All right. Antum sametum, plural, all of you male. Heard. Anti sameti. Yeah. Antum sametum is plural, jama. It's plural. Right. You all jama. jama. Right. Yeah. All together. Anti sameti is. You one feminine. Correct. Heard. Antuma same etuma. Two of you feminine. Mm -hmm. Antuna same etuna. You all feminine heard. Mm -hmm. Same etu is me. I correct. I heard. Same na is we heard. How do you say I heard? Same tu. We heard. Same anna. She heard. Same at. Uh, she heard. Same at. They all females heard. Same atunna. They. Ghaib. Same atunna. No. Same atunna, right? No. Same atunna is antum. Oh. Same atunna. Okay. This one here. Hunna. Uh huh. Same hunna. Hunna same hunna. Same na. Hunna same na. Hunna same na. Correct. Anta. You one fee. You one boy. Her. Anta same at. Anta. Anta same at. Correct. And you all females her. Antuma same tuma. You all, I said. Females. Sametum. Antum sametum? No, you all females. Antuma samet antunna sametunna. Antunna sametunna, yes. Yes, anta sametunna, yes. Excellent. Okay. I still have to get there. You know, alhamdulillah. And that's much better. Okay, thank you. No problem. Right, okay, that's done. Um, now I'm going to ask the next student. I have one question in the middle. Yes. I'm sorry. When you send us the um, lectures, I cannot enlarge the, these, this format. If we cannot enlarge, we cannot see the right uh, harakat on them. Um, you can. I'll send, I'll send this again as a PDF file again uh, in the group, but um, you should have this. So we will be able to enlarge them? You could print them out. 
you could you could like like uh, what I'm doing now. I'm pinching it. If you have it on your phone, go to PDF. You can zoom it out and zoom it in as well. Okay, I can only use phone. I can. I'm not good at printing. Um, ask one of his, uh, uh, your son-in-law uh, or your, or your daughter to print them, and they will print it out. It'll be easier for you, inshallah. Okay, inshallah, we'll try. Okay, no problem. Okay, next person I'm going to ask is going to be Sister Sabiha. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Right, Sister Sabiha, I want you to do the haba for me. <coughs> the haba with uh, prefix? Yes. Huwa zahaba, huma zahaba. Huwa zahaba, huma uh, huma zahaba, hum huwa zahaba he went. Correct. Huma zahaba, uh, two person went, two male mm -hmm. went. Hum zahabu, they went. Uh, they all went. Hiya zahabat, uh, she went. Huma zahabata, mm -hmm. uh, two female went. Hunna Zahabna, um, all female went. Anta Zahabat, uh, Anta uh, you Zahabta. Zahabta. Okay. Anta Zahabta, uh, you went. Antuma Zahabtuma, you too went. Antum Zahabtum, you all went. Anti Zahabti, uh, you female went. Single. Antuma Zahabtuma, you two female went. Antuna Zahabtuna, you all went, female. Ana Zahabtu, uh, I went. Nahnu Zahabna, they went. We went. went. We went. Yes. Right. Thank you for that. All right. I'm going to move on forward now. Um, now I'm going to move on to present tense. Give me one second. Let me just find the actual handout. Right. I'm, I'm going to choose the students who are new to book two rather than the students who have already done the book. So it defeats the purpose. So I'm just going to choose the students who have just started book two from the beginning. So, sister. Um, who is there? Who has? Saida, Samina. Okay, Sister Samina, can you come on the mic? Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalamu rahmatullah. How are you? I'm fine, alhamdulillah. Uh, Sister Samina, how good are your present tense verbs? Mm, uh, I think it's better. Right, okay, let me just go through them quickly so that it makes clear. Now, in the past tense, we had kataba. Okay, in the past tense, we had kataba. Now, in the present tense, we add, for the first three, we add a ya in the beginning. And the last letter of the verb, the original, the present tense, original state is with a dhamma. So, all of the singulars... Mm -hmm. We'll have a dhamma, yaktubu. And the middle letter, the ta, it changes in the present tense. It can sometimes go the fata, kasra, and a dhamma, the middle letter. So yaktubu, he is writing. And the fa'il here is mustatirun. Again, like kataba, the fa'il is hidden. And again, yaktubu, the fa'il, the doer of the verb is hidden. Now yaktubani, the ya is of the sign up for the present tense. Alif and the noon with a kasra. Alif and the noon with a kasra. Alif is the alif is the sign of dual. Alif is the sign of dual. And to show now, okay. 
this is going to be slightly tricky. I'm going to see how you re react to this. Now, first of all, does everyone remember I said something about the nouns? I said all nouns have three states. Do you remember that? All nouns can come with three harakat, depending upon where they are located or situated. Does everyone remember that? It's the marfu'un, mansubun, and correct so a noun can come like kitabun kitaban and kitabin so all nouns have three states halatul raf halatul nasb halatul jar it can come with dhamma tanween fata tanween and a kasra tanween so this is with nouns is this clear so far Yes. Can you just repeat this? It's uh, not clear to me. Okay. Okay, one second. So just give me one second. Let me just bring the other hand out onto the screen. I may teach this class slightly different from the other one. So um, I'm just contemplating what to do. So unless someone else give me a tip what to do, um, I may do it. Um, okay, this is going to be the one. Look at this here. Can you see this? When the last letter of a noun has a dhamma, it is said to be marfu'un. Aminatu, bintun, jamilatun. This is called marfu'. Halatun, marfu. Hamidun, talibun, mujtahidun. We did this already. Hamid is, mm. hamidun, talibun, hamid is a student. What type of student? Hardworking. Hard so, sifa, eh, mujtahidun is an adjective for describing the student itself. So this is called Halatul Marfu. Sister Samina? Gee, yes, it's okay. Now the next one is called Halatul Nas Mansu. When the noun comes with a fata or a fata tanween. For example, we say Ashadu Anna Muhammadan. Word Muhammadan is taking a fata tanween. This is called Halatul Mansu. Sister, uh, uh, Sister Sabira, is that clear for you? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, Sheikh. Brilliant. And then next one is called Halatul Majru. When, for example, we say Asa'atu ala Sariri. Asa'atu ala Sariri. Ala is Harfijar, as you know. Which means the what is on the bed. The watch is on the bed. So Allah is coming and the noun is getting a customer. Now, the noun, the verbs can itself. I, can I sorry? share something, Shif? Sorry? So, can I share something? Yeah. So, when I was saying marfu'un, it is uh, zamatanwin, and uh, then I was saying mansubun, it is fatatanwin. But then instead of, of majroor, I, I, maksurun, it was coming maksurun, like broken, the yeah, chair yeah. is broken. I <laughs> forgot completely. <laughs> no, these things happen. <laughs> so, yeah, so majrurun. Uh, when ex like excuse me, Aga. Yeah. Uh, you said asato ala sariri, to ala is harfi jal. Correct. Uh, ala I, I, I couldn't understand this. Uh, how can it be harfi jal? Okay. What's the sign? Or okay, I think I missed. Are this you lesson. from the Najaf course book? Are you from? Are you from the other group, the Najaf group? Uh, no, I'm not from Najaf group. Okay, I'm with from... <laughs> America and British <laughs> group, <laughs> both group. No, no, because I thought you because there's some sisters who are doing the course online with uh, the Najaf Institute. Um, so I thought you from that group. Okay, that's fine. Now, the no, no, I, now, I don't think I'm in that group. Okay, now asatu. Now Allah is a, it's called harfijar, meaning that whenever this word comes before a noun, the noun which comes after Allah or fi, it will take it will take a give it will get a kasra or a kasra tanween. So because of alif as sarir has alif la, the bed, so it gets one kasra. 
And when it does not have alif lam, then it will have two kasra tanweens. So asad ala saririn. So at the moment, the watch is on the bed. But if you want to say the watch is on a bed, then I will remove the alif lam. Alif lam makes a noun, a definite noun, that the bed, a particular bed. But if you want to say any bed, it could be a single bed, a bunk bed, or a king size bed, then you see asatu ala saridin. The watch is on a bed. So ala comes before a noun, and the noun which comes after ala will take either a kasra or a kasra tanwi. Is that clear now? Okay, yes. Thank you. Now, with regards to the uh, verbs as well, the verbs have the verbs have three states. How many states does the verb have? Three states. Three states. What are the three states? I'm going to show you now, if I could find it. Okay, write this down, example. Write this down, please. So the first one was marfu, as we know. Yes, everyone could write marfu. Alatul okay. marfu is the first one. Marfu. When alif, meme, ra, fa, wow, ain, marfu. When the last letter of the singular verb of the present tense gets a dhamma, like ya lamu. The last word is getting a? Zamma. Dhamma. The next one is halatul majzoom. Halatul? Majzoom. Majzoom. Or jazam. Jazam is a sign when the last letter of the present tense, present tense takes a? Jazam. Sukun. 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 Yeah. So what happens is that the word lam can you see the word lam? Lam meme. Lam meme will come in front of the present tense and will make the present tense will end with a sukun. So ya'lamu will become now lam ya'lam. He means that he did not know. Okay, okay, okay. He did not know. Lam ya'lam. He did not know. Sabiha, is that clear? Samina, is that clear for you as well? Yes, I'm trying to understand. Okay, can you see the last letter having a sukun? Yes. B because the reason why it's coming with a sukun now is because of lam. Lam is a particle, okay. harf, which will change the meaning of the present tense to negation. Did not do. Lam ya lam, he did not know. Whereas ya lamu means he is knowing. Yes. Okay. Any whenever uh, yalam will come with lam, then it will uh, take uh, uh, jazam or uh, yeah, sukoon on uh, last letter. Correct. Okay. Correct. That is called so, halatul what, what, majzoom. And uh, this yalama. Yalamu. So yalamu is the original halatul marfu. Halatul okay. majzoom is yalam lam yalam. And the third state for the present tense verb is mansub. Al mansub. Okay. Mansub means that whenever the present tense verb is preceded by the particle lan. Okay. Lam noon. Lan. Lan ya lama. Can you see the last letter coming with the fatah? Yes. Yes, it is. This means it, this will in, in land when it comes in front of the present tense, it gives it future negation. Lan okay. ya lama means that he will never know. Is this clear for everyone now? That the present tense has the present tense has, has halatul majzoom and Halatul Mansub and Halatul Marfu. The noun has three states Halatul Raf, Halatul Marfu, Halatul Mansub, and Halatul Jar. Majroor. Jar, exactly. Mm -hmm. Nouns, verbs do not have Halatul Majroor. Nouns, do, verbs do not come with a Kasra or a Kasra Tanween. 
That's only four nouns. Verbs come halatul marfu, halatul majzum, and halatul mansub. Right. Sister, uh, sister uh, Brother Ali Naqabi, Sister Fozia, Brother Manzoor, um, Sabira, Gulshan, uh, Sister Parvina, is this clear for everyone? Uh, yes. Yes, Mulana, it's clear. Right, okay. Let's go back. Yes, who's got a question? Uh, just, I, you were saying, up, you were saying, can you see to mere to ek screen pe kuch bhi nahi aa raha um you need to scroll your screen give me one second let me just share screen again who is this speaking so this is so hard okay so how, look now of of restart the screen again you should get something on the screen now no it just says imran hussain has started screen sharing okay yeah give it two no seconds picture. It should come. It may be if it doesn't come after a couple of minutes. It means that you need to get a new phone. Is it is it a smartphone you have? G. Is it a smartphone? Is it a phone which you? Uh, yeah. Yes. Is it quite new? Yeah. Because if yeah. if it's old, then it may not work. Mm. Here we have got Maybe. connections through. Yeah. Are you on Wi-Fi or how are you connected? Sohab is my friend. Sohab by the biggest iPad. Oh, what's <laughs> up? Like I did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, I, so. maybe, maybe I didn't will get any... You will be fine, inshallah. Chala, okay, inshallah. Um, so what we can do, maybe you need to um just use your laptop instead. <laughs> I should solve it. Well, I know. Um, Molana will make you understand everything in few weeks. You will be surprised. Ji, inshallah. Just stay with us. Okay. Nikuch bini ap abitak bi kuch ni aaj. Molana sab ap please move on. You know, I am moving on, but I'm looking for something which I need, which I can't find. Okay, now coming back. <clears throat> now, then we have So, yaktubu, yaktubani, yaktubuna. So, we add the alif and the noon with the kasra in the jewel. And yaktubuna, we add the waw noon with the fata. In the plural for masculine. Then the next two, over in the beginning was ya. Now we add the ta in the beginning. Taktubu, and then alif noon. Again, is a sign of dual for present tense. Taktubani. So, yaktubo, yaktubani, yaktubuna. Taktubo, taktubani. Now, this here, nuno the fatah, is being added at the end. This is the sign of plural feminine. Mm -hmm. And whenever the plural feminine comes for this, the third person and the second person, one letter before the last will always have a sukun. Yak. The ba is with the sukun, yaktubna. So ya is added at the, the sixth form, yaktubna. So yaktubu, yaktubani, yaktubuna, taktubu, taktubani, yaktubna. And the next six will have all ta's in the beginning. In yaktubuna, we add the wang moon for you, they all boys. And here in the plural masculine, we have the tal in the beginning and the wow noon here. So yaktubuna is they all and taktubuna is you all. So pretty much the same. The only difference is the ya in the beginning and the ta here. So taktubu, you one boy. Taktubani, you two boys. Taktubuna, you all boys. Taktubina, you one female. So in taktubina, we add ya and noon. So make it one female, anti. 
and then Antuma Taktubani, you two females, and Taktubani. So remember, there are three verbs exactly the same. Taktubani, this one here, you two females, Taktubani, you two you two boys, Taktubani, you two females. And Taktubna, again, Yaktubna here, Taktubna ta is added in the beginning. Aktubu, I am writing. Naktubu is we are writing. Right. I'm going to ask someone to come on the mic. Who wants to come forward? Um, Bismillah. Sister um, Sohab. Bismillah. Um, I'm going to give you... Have a look on the screen. Can you see on the screen now? Oh, we mean as a Niara. No, nothing. Hey, um, what I'll do, I'll send it after class. I'll send you the PDF, the PDF files on the group um, and I'll check what's happening. Well, Thank you. Okay, then I'm gonna, okay, I will ask um, who S, S. F. Fatima. Sister S. F. Fatima. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, sister? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. Thank you. Where are you, where are you from? I'm from India. From India. Have you done this already or not? Uh, present tense pardon? verbs. Pardon? Have, you done, have you done the present tense verbs already? Um, no? No. No. <laughs> Okay, message me in the what, private, private message me, then I'll send you the links so that you can catch up in the class as well. Okay, okay. Malana. Okay. 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 Um, can I request then, Brother Ali Naqabi? Okay. Ali Naqabi? Yep, I'm here. Uh, Present tense. Yaktubu. Uh, okay. Uh, Yaktubu. Uh, yak, uh, yak to Bani, I uh, yak to Buna, I uh, yak, yak, a uh, taktubu, a uh, taktubani, I uh, uh, yak, uh, tubna, a uh, taktubu, a uh, taktubani, a uh, taktubuna, a uh, Taktubina, a taktubani, a taktubuna, a aktubo. No, no, taktubna. They all female, you all females is taktubna. Taktubna, sorry, taktubna. A aktubo and naktubo. Aktubo, naktubo, okay, right. How do you say I am writing? A aktubo. How do you say we are writing? Naktubu. Uh, he is writing. Yaktubu. Uh, she is writing. Taktubu. Uh, you, one female, is writing. Taktubina. Uh, Taktubina, excellent. Sister um, Sabira, can we come on the mic, please? Uh, excuse I'm me, Allah. To... G. Who is speaking? He, he is uh, he is writing or he writes. Um, both meaning आते हैं यक्तुबु में. जी. मुजारे भी आता, हाल भी आता, मुस्तकबल भी आता, दोनों मानी. So how can we uh, know that it, it, it uh, is मुजारे और? आपको कैसे पता लगेगा हाल भी आता, he writes uh, or he will be writing. Okay. Sister Sabira Bismillah. Yaktu. Um, I want you to do the next one. Um, Yaftahu. He is opening. Sorry. Yaftahu. Yaftahu. He is opening. Can you see on the screen, Sister Sabira? Okay. 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 Yaftahu. 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 Yaf, 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 yaf,
يفتحونا okay, okay. تفتحوا تفتحاني يفتحنا okay. تفتحوا تفتحاني تفتحونا تفتحينا تفتحاني تفتحنا أفتحوا نفتحوا Okay, okay, okay. All right, Sheikh. Let's start. Yaftuha. Yes, please. Yaftuhu. Yaft. Yaftahani. Yaftahuna. Yaftahu. Yaftahani. Yaftahna. Can you? Could you be favorite, sister? Um, Sabira, can you translate them as well, please? Okay, so now we have reached you. Mail. Shall I start again, Sheikh? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yaftahu, he is opening. He is opening. Um, Yaftahani, that's two male opening. Yaftahuna, more than two male opening. Yaftahu, one female, she is opening. Taftahani, two female opening. Yaftahna, more than two female opening. Taftahu, you one male opening. Taftahani, you two men opening. Taftahuna, more than two male opening. Taftahina, you one female opening. Taftahina, two female opening. Taftahna, more than two female opening. Aftahu, that's eye opening. We are opening. Okay, now how do you say I am opening? That's aftahu. How do you say we are open? Um, um, we are opening. Naftahu. How do you say um, he is opening? He, that's, that's, that's the first one, that's Naftahu. How do you say, um, she's opening? That's Taftahu, yeah? Yep. Taftahu. Um, how do you say you, one female is opening? You, one female, that's Taftahina, yeah? Yeah. Correct. Brilliant. Can you say, and if I said, um, how do you say they all boys are opening? They all boys. That's Taftahuna, so is it? Third person, third person. Third person. Yeah. Um, that's Taftahuna, yeah? No, Yaftahu, Yaftahani. What, what does Yaftahuna mean? It's so tough. You have to, that's, that, that's one male opening. He is opening. Exactly. You have to, he's opening. And then how do you say plural? Oh, I see. Okay. So they, yeah, it's, that's Yaftahuna. Yeah. So it's right. there. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I need, so what I'm going to do, there's one thing I'll, Give me two minutes. I just want to change this and there's another hand up. Someone messaged me and I thought, Tika, that's a good idea. I'm just going to change this and use another handout and see if this helps you to understand. Uh, uh, one second. Okay, now, can you see, uh, can, can everyone see this? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, what's happening here is this. So the first six forms: one, two, three, four, five, six. The first three: yadrosu, yadrosani, yadrosuna. So these are singulars. You have a ya there. Then we add an alif and the noon with a kasra to make jul yadrosani, and then we added wow noon yad. Rosuna, that's a plural for they. Then for the next she, we added a ta, tadrosu. Here was yadrosu, 
Here now, tadruzu, she is learning. And then tadrusani, instead of yadrusani, now it became tadrusani. So we added a ta to say they two females are studying. And then instead of yadrusuna, we remove the wow and add a noon with a fatta, yadrusna. They all females studied. And the next six have ta's in all of the six uh, of the second person. So tadrusu, you one male study. Tadrusani, you two male study. Tadrusuna, you more than two male study. So wow noon here. Yadrusuna, two. Tadrusuna, you all males are studying. And then tadrusu, which you one male study. If you want to say you all female, you one female study. You add ya and a noon with a fata. Tad rosina. Tad rosani. Tad rosna. I studied. Add an elif in the beginning. Adrosu. And nahno nadrosu. Is that clear for everyone? Uh, she, she learns Tadrusu and you learn Tadrusu. Uh, exactly. Uh, exactly. There are, there are several verbs. Yes. Yeah, so you tell from the context whether it's um, she is whether it's you one female or you one masculine. Tell from the context of the of the okay, text okay, okay. itself whether it's referring to she or whether it's referring to you one female. Okay. Okay. All right, this is enough. I'm not going to do anything more. I just want everyone, please do the homework. Go through this. If you haven't wrote this out before, write the present tense verb out. Yadrosu, yadrosani, yadrosuna. Or yaktobu, yaktobana. And write the translation and send me a voice recording across to me as well. Okay, please. And then inshallah, I'll test you again next week. Once everyone has passed, then I will move on to the next thing. Is that okay? It's a lot to remember. Sorry? It's a lot to remember. No, no, no. Practice. So, Sister Thabira, Sister Fozia here. Sister Fozia? Yes, Alaikum. Alaikum, Sister Fozia. Um, can I share your number with Sister Thabira? Yeah, you, that's fine. Yeah can, yeah, can you pair up together? Because I need you to pair up together and practice. And Brother Ali, uh, brother Manzoor and Brother Ali, can you pair up together? Uh, like uh, join up on Zoom or something yourselves and, and test each other. Okay. Sure. Okay. okay. Then. You can share the number, the, the email. Yeah, so, brother, brother Moses, and I'll, I'll I'll send you and brother Ali Nakhvi message me, and I'll send you your numbers across to each other as well. Yeah. Um, Sheikh, and, uh, uh, Sheikh, I want to ask if you can pair up uh, with someone to me as well. Okay, uh, Sister Samina. And Sister Sabiha. Sabina oh, and Sister yeah. Sabiha, are you there or you disappeared? Sister Sabiha. Sister Sabiha and Sister Fatima. Sister Sabiha, Sister Fatima, and Sister Samina, can you all three of you message me and I'll pair you up with um who I'm gonna pair you up with? Um I think the best student will be um tu -tu 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 -tu. Either Sister Gulshan or Sister Parveen Naqvi. Sister Gulshan or Sister Parveen Naqvi, who will be available? I'm available. All the time. You're available? Okay. <laughs> okay, Sister Parveen Naqvi. Okay, sure. she will help you. Sarah. And I'll, I'll help you. Uh, yeah, so Sister Shahida Zaidi and Sister Suhab, you also be paired up with Sister Parveen Naqvi as well. Okay. Well, thank yeah. you very much. That will help. I really no thank you this so much. This way I can learn to... Yeah, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'll talk to Sister Parmin. Yeah. Inshallah. No problem. Okay, let me show you